guest tonight is a lecturer of African history, civilization, religion, and culture. He, along with his wife, also conduct the Kim New Know Thyself educational tours in Egypt and Ethiopia. Please, without further ado, welcome to the show, Mr. Ashra Kwesi. Sir, welcome to the show, and thank you so very much for, for being with us. Oh, yes, it's good to be on your show, my brother. Well, I, I just want to say that it is absolutely an honor uh, and high pleasure to have you, and uh, furthermore, I must say hotel to you, brother. Uh, hotel, hotel, peace, and uh, sorry if I sound a little uh, tired, but on the road, up and down in airplanes, they seem to suck all the energy out of me nowadays. <laughs> Oh, wow, wow. Well, thank you again. That, that's even furthermore for us thanking you for being a part of the show. And uh, I want to make sure that we do get uh, some key questions out about not only your journey, but what is it that you do and have done for so many years uh, over the decades uh, in empowering and educating and bringing to light so many things that have been uh, unfortunately kept in darkness for so for too many years. And there are uh, so many things we can discuss today, um, and I hope our callers will call in and ask some questions of you. I want to start at the beginning, if I can, um, at least the perceived beginning for most people. You talk in great detail about the true story of Adam and Eve, and I was wondering, could you just briefly or in your own words, however you like, uh, talk about the Tree of Life tale and how it was distorted over the centuries and why? Well, uh, first of all, <clears throat> just to give your listeners on the, uh, as I refer to as a community radio, uh, you know, as Bobby Wright said, this is a community. Anytime we're uh, disseminating information, uh, that's education for liberation, and that's what we're doing tonight. And uh, let me say, uh, first of all, this, is, this involves uh, 31 years of my life uh, returning back to Africa and uh, that I refer to as the fallopian tube. And when I speak of the fallopian tube, I'm speaking of happy. It is now called the now today. Not only the 4,000, approximately 200 miles of the now, but also the blue now, also called the abai, also the ba'atbar, and in the biblical account in Genesis is referred to as gilhan. These are the cultural waterways that African people through their migration and observation of Mutt Nichet, or what is commonly known as Mother Nature today, derived from Mutt Nichet. Here our ancestors created many spiritual stories of what they observe. Keep in mind, all anthropolo anthropological science, paleontology, and all the other types of sciences that they've come up with today have validated that there's only one monogenetic origin, or meaning one origin. Even though through racism trying to deny this science of this monogenetic origin, they're trying to create now a polygenetic origin or saying that people will just simultaneously spring up on the planet Earth all over the planet Earth. But all sciences have validated that uh, the oldest fossil finds have been in the Adobe Gorge as well as the uh, Hadar Valley of Ethiopia that we take groups back annually every year. And also what we look at, Adultu, that now we see the first homo, earliest Homo sapiens sapien, 160,000 years. Here, these are African people, or the first people on the planet Earth, observing these spiritual sciences from the dawn of time. So when we look at this science here, as you spoke of, of Adam and Eve, this is what we get in the Hebrew account of the first man and first woman. The problem with that is that many African people have been religiously brainwashed to think that that is the story and only story. That is not the story, nor is it the only story. African people created these spiritual stories thousands and thousands of years ago. Now, as I said with anthropology, all anthropological science have validated African people were first, and even when we should go to Dick and Nish, who, they, who uh, Johansson refers to as Lucy because of a Beatles song playing, and they call her Lucy with her Ethiopian name meaning Dick and Nish, that means thou are wonderful. Now, here she is 3.1 million years, as I just mentioned, adult to 160,000 years. Now, here we see the first people on the planet Earth. How can we start uh, the beginning of the world in a Hebrew time period from the biblical account of 6,000 years? That should tell African people that African people were already here before this Hebrew creation story. But unfortunately, as I said, this is the only story that we know. 
As our ancestors migrated down the Nile carrying spiritual stories and creating science like astrotheology and it led into astro mythologies and so forth, taking stories from the stars. Uh, the stars have told many, many stories uh, to our ancestors. It made them, it caused them to calculate time through a stellar science or, a, or a science around the stars. We do know that the earliest agriculture did not start in, Mes- uh, in Mesopotamia or Samaria, it started in the Nile Valley. So not only did it pay, play a major role in uh, agriculture, but it also played a major role in spiritual stories. And through these spiritual stories, we see that these became not only earthly stories, but celestial stories. And they were told in various movements of the stars. 